Hey guys, it's the crew guy once again, just showing up once more. Um, so obviously in the first setup, I was not able to connect to the internet, but having played around with it for a little bit, I realized that there's an easy setup sort of uh, function. So what you can do is go to your original settings. Let me back up to the main portion. Uh, again, it has a little bit of a lag time for the loading times here. Um, but you know, at least you get to see that it is a little bit slower during the first initial boot and everything like that. Hopefully with this upcoming uh, update, system update, we'll be able to run a little bit faster and not have this like 20 seconds lag time here. So what I did was I went to the start setup here, um, taking me to system settings, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and configure the Wi-Fi setup. And they have it so that you can actually uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. And if you have a router that's enabled, just using the push button sync so that you know it shows on the router that you're instantly broadcasting the SSID and you're able to connect without any problems. I don't have to put my password in, which somehow I've mistakenly not been able to put in correctly. So I don't know what's going on with that, but thankfully the Wii system has this other feature. So we'll go ahead and press internet. Uh, find recommended connection type. It's gonna ask me how I use the internet. I use it at home. Uh, have Wi-Fi access yes and it's got different options i'm not sure what aosss aoss is but we'll just go ahead and do wi-fi protected setup and i'm using a linksys router so uh that has the wi-fi protected setup where you just press the button without a problem so we're going to walk through this here push button configuration is what i'd prefer hopefully it'll just go ahead and do that so it says press and hold the network device Wi-Fi protected setup button until the LED flashes. So we'll come over to my Linksys. It's a little older of a router, but you know, it's been working pretty good. And just a heads up, I have um, 10 megabits per second speed. I think it actually might be 15. So I've pressed the button. It's going ahead and flashing, and it's doing exactly what it wants it to do, which is the flashing here. Television screen says proceed with setup on the game pad. And again, I'll try and put that side by side so you can see everything going on simultaneously in one frame. So let's back up a little bit here. And it says that it's going to take a few minutes to actually go ahead and get everything all configured. Um, let me try and press this button it's again. All right, now it's going ahead and testing the connection. Zoom in a little bit there for you guys. A little longer than I uh, prefer. Uh, I've actually connected a few of my wireless devices using this approach, uh, much like my wireless printer. And uh, that was a little bit more seamless. It was able to log in and of course, while I'm filming this, I'm showing a connecting test failed. So sorry about that. We'll try that one more time. So what we have here is, again, I'm pressing. Let's see what's going on here. And showing that error code. Let's go back, cancel. This will exit the connection setup. This has been set as connection two. We won't even bother saving that. So let's go back to the top. Use this internet at home, Wi Fi, Wi Fi protected setup. Follow the on screen instructions. Push button configuration. Um, if this doesn't work, then I'll obviously try the pin, but I don't even know what the pin would be on my router. And again, it's going to say it's taking a few minutes. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, so let me show you just in the meantime zoom in a little bit there. I don't know if you can really see it very well on the screen here, but uh, all right, let's see if I can focus in a little better. Got the SD card here on the front panel and again the two USB portions. Just wanted to show you that it's slot loading and it doesn't seem like it's too bad. And we're back up and see if this connection works. It's taking a little longer so it probably will not work but um, we're giving it a second shot, and if anything, I'll just go ahead and do this off screen um, rather than wasting you guys' time here.
Okay, and again, it's failed. So I'll go ahead and set this up and I'll post another video showing the uh, internet features and everything while it's completely connected, as well as giving you a sense of um, the update. And I've heard that it actually takes a little bit of a, uh, a while to get the full update downloaded, installed, everything like that. So I will only show you just the initial interface for it rather than the full download. And then we'll uh, touch base at a later time. Thank you.